TripAdvisor can be a great place to find social proof of your brand to boost your sales. But directly adding TripAdvisor reviews to your website can be tough, especially if you're not a developer. That's why in this video, I'll show you the fastest and easiest way to add TripAdvisor widgets like this onto your WordPress website. We'll be doing this by using the Smash Balloon Reviews Feed Pro plugin. This plugin allows us to embed our TripAdvisor reviews onto your WordPress website in just a few easy steps. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Reviews Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now on your dashboard, hover over plugins on the left hand side and click on Add New. Then go and click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Reviews Feed Pro, just like this, and click Install Now. Next, go and activate the plugin. And there we go, Reviews Feed Pro has now been activated and we can begin creating our first TripAdvisor Reviews widget. On the left hand side, you'll now notice Reviews Feed. Go ahead and click on that. And this brings you inside the plugin. And for the first step, we have to activate our license key. Go ahead and paste the license key from your Smash Balloon account like this, and then click on Activate. And now Reviews Feed Pro has been activated so we can begin creating our TripAdvisor Reviews widget. Go ahead and click on Add New, and then we'll have to add a source for our Reviews Feed. Click on Add Source. With Reviews Feed Pro, we can create a feed of reviews from Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, and Yelp. In this video, we're gonna be creating a TripAdvisor widget, so we're gonna click that here, and then click on Next. Now we'll have to enter our TripAdvisor API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can click on the video tutorial on the top right corner of your screen or check out our written review in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, you can paste it here like this and then click on Next. Then we'll have to add the URL for our TripAdvisor reviews. For this tutorial, we're going to embed the reviews from Angelina Bakery in New York City. What you have to do now is go ahead and copy the URL for this page here, just like this. Then head back into Reviews Feed Pro and paste that URL here, just like that. And then click on Finish. You can see that we now have Angelina Bakery added as a source. We can select it like this and then click on Next. And now for our final step, we'll have to select the template for the appearance of our reviews feed. You can choose from options like Default, Simple Cards, Masonry, Single Review, and more below. For this tutorial, let's go ahead with Simple Cards. You can select it like this and then click on Next. And almost instantly, you'll see a live preview of your brand new TripAdvisor widget. All the latest TripAdvisor reviews for Angelina Bakery in New York City are displayed in this beautiful feed you see in front of you. Now you can go and embed this on your WordPress webpage, but before I show you how to do that, let me show you how you can customize it. On the left hand side under the Customize tab, click on Layout. Here you'll find options to modify the layout of your reviews feed. Currently we have the List layout selected, which displays all of your reviews in a single column list like this. Next we have the Masonry layout, which displays your reviews in rows and columns like this. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, where users can swipe through your reviews like this. Continue with the list layout. If you look down below, you can also specify how many reviews you want to display on your feed. To change this, all you have to do is highlight it like this and enter the number of reviews you want to display like this. It's as easy as that. Let's continue with three. And once you're happy with the layout of your feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. With our plugin, you can also modify the header area of your reviews feed. On the left hand side, click on header. Here you can see that we can choose to display or hide each of the elements inside the header. This includes the heading, the writer review button, and the average review rating as well. To hide any of these elements, all you have to do is uncheck it like this, and it will hide that instantly inside the live preview. And we can bring it back just like that as well. And at the top, you can choose to disable or enable the header entirely as well, just like this. For this video, I'm going to keep the header enabled, and if you make any changes, go and click on save on the top right corner. With Reviews Feed Pro, you can also modify how each individual review is displayed as well. On the left hand side, click on Reviews. Then click on Edit Individual Elements. Here you can see all the different elements inside each review. This includes the author and date, the rating, review paragraph, and images or videos if they're available. If we want to hide any of these elements, all we have to do is uncheck it like this, and you can see that change reflected inside the live preview instantly. If we want to bring that back, all we have to do is click on it like this once again. And you might notice now that the rating stars are at the bottom of the review, when previously it was much higher on the review. This just shows that you have freedom to modify how the elements are stacked inside each review. To move the rating stars back to the top, hover over it like this, and then drag it all the way to the top where you see fit. And once you let go, that change will be automatically reflected inside the live preview once again. If you make any changes here, go and click on save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want full control to choose which reviews you want to display on your feed, we have options for that too. Click on the settings tab, and then here you'll find filters. Inside, you'll find options to filter the reviews you display on your feed. You can choose to filter reviews based on their star rating. And below that, you can also specify keywords to hide or show specific reviews that contain that word. And that's not all. If you go back into settings and click on moderation, and if we enable it here, you can see that we have an allow and block list giving you complete control over which reviews you want to display on your feed. And once again, if you make any changes inside the moderation and filter settings, don't forget to hit save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your TripAdvisor reviews feed, 
Let's go in and embed it onto your WordPress web page. To do this, go and click on Embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, and then click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your reviews feed to, and then click on Add. Now, inside our WordPress web page, we have two different options to embed our TripAdvisor widget. The first option is to use a shortcode block and paste that shortcode we copied like this. Alternatively, if you're using Block Editor, you can use our dedicated reviews feed block just like this. And you can see that instantly we have our brand new reviews feed from TripAdvisor embedded directly inside our web page. Let's go ahead and click on Update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are on our live web page, and right in the middle, we can see our brand new TripAdvisor widget. All the latest reviews for Angelina Bakery are embedded directly inside this feed. But if you want to learn how to add a TripAdvisor widget into the sidebar or footer of your website, we can do that as well. Let me show you how. Back inside the plugin, I have my reviews feed in a different layout. And all we have to do now is go and click on Embed, copy your dedicated shortcode once again, and instead of clicking on Add to a Page, click on Add to a Widget instead. This brings us into the WordPress Widgets menu. In this tutorial, let's add a TripAdvisor widget into the footer of our website. That's this one right here. And to embed our reviews feed, we have the same two options as before. We can either use a dedicated reviews feed block, or we can paste the shortcode we copied earlier, just like this. And there we go, our reviews feed has now been embedded. So we can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. Here we are back on our live web page, and right in the middle, you see the TripAdvisor reviews widget we created earlier in the list layout. And if we scroll down below into the footer, we now have a reviews feed inside the footer as well. And this one we can swipe through like this and it's embedded our reviews directly inside the footer of our website. So we now know how to embed a reviews feed directly on our web page and onto the footer as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.